basketball. One. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. We've got Doncic. Reggie Bullock is out there with Dwight Powell. And it's Dinwiddie in at the shooting guard position. And for the Jams. Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. Gobert is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's O'Neal in at the small forward. And here's Conley outside. Some talent for sure in the backcourt tonight, Greg. Did, did it ever add anything for you playing across from another top-level guard? No, it always raises the stakes. And you want to rise to that challenge. But in the end, it all comes back to winning as a team. Boy, there's a subtle but real physicality and aggressiveness to Doncic's approach to the game. And that's part of his greatness. Now here is Conley. O'Neal from long range. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Here's Dinwiddie. There's the pass to Finney Smith. On the wing, Doncic. Off target from outside. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And it's Mitchell missing. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, I was able to speak with Quinn Snyder just before the game. They really don't want this game to come down to the wire. Coach said Luka Doncic is so good in the clutch, either shooting it, driving it, or passing it. We'd like to avoid that scenario altogether. So that means they have to be comfortably ahead in the fourth quarter. Kevin? All right, thank you, David. Al Conley. After Luka Doncic's three-pointer that didn't go. Conley, the pass to Gobert. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. And not the same skinny guy he was when he entered the league. Gobert a lot less affected by contact these days. Here's Finney Smith. And the layup is good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Gobert. Mitchell outside. Shot clock at 6. 13 feet away. And he hits the jumper for 2. And that's Mitchell at his best. Playing the quarterback on this offense and leaving the D, grabbing for air. Doncic dishes to Dinwiddie. Pass to Finney Smith. Over in the corner, Doncic. Dallas moving the ball around. Powell kicks to Doncic. Dallas needs to get off a shot. The shot by Powell, no good. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Utah Jams. Three-point lead. And Dwight Powell continuing his comeback. The ruptured Achilles back in 2020. And that injury now not the career ender it once was. Well said, Greg. Guys come back from that because of the advances in technology and training. And a credit to Powell that he's back and looking as tough and as impactful as ever. He's a guy that kind of holds the mortar together on teams does a lot of the stuff that needs to be done. Now, Dinwiddie following the three-point attempt by Donovan Mitchell. Doncic outside. It's stolen by Gobert. And thought that pass was going to get through, but no. All of a sudden, he was going the other way with the basketball. And here's Mitchell from the arc. It's rebounded by Dallas. Dinwiddie right side. Now here's Paul. He's still scoreless so far in this one. The drive by Doncic. And Doncic throws it down. Big time flush by Doncic. Man, this young fella really has a lot of game. Conley scanning the floor. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Dinwiddie with the steal. Doncic outside. From deep. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Jazz have gone 3 of 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. Has to go there. Back to Mitchell. 
Gobert with a screen for Mitchell. And slam dunk by Gobert. And sometimes it's as simple as this. Throw it up anywhere near Gobert, and he's going to finish it. Here now is Dinwiddie. Doncic with a screen on Conley. Back to Doncic. From deep three-point range, sinks it. What range from outside? Wow. Doncic has got seven. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Tie game in Utah. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. All right. Orkin is coming onto the court. Come on. Get that. It goes if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And the guys, what's your take on Utah so far? You know, I, I think they're going to be happy with how they played here early on. I agree with you. I mean, they hit the ground running, had a strong start to the game that they're hoping they can manage the rest of the way. Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. O'Neal is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Gobert in at the pivot spot. And in the middle. That's the group right now for Utah. Pass to Doncic. Here's Finney Smith. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Inside. And a strong finish with two hands. Boy, what a brilliant find by Doncic. Utah trailing here. Bounce pass Conley. Powell against Gobert. Conley. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And he's got his first chance at the line here. After a whistle, we often see players demanding their coach challenge the call. Greg, were there plays you wish you could have challenged in your career? Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. But the game was just so different back then, and we had other ways of resolving issues and letting the refs know when we maybe didn't appreciate a call. The three for Dungeon. The shot, no good. And it's Utah the other way. O'Neal high post. Mitchell in the corner, and the pass to go big. He gets that one. Gobert's got the lead up to three now for the Jams. And the bulk of Gobert's offense is going to come down low. Even if the D knows that, it can still be tough to stop. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Conley with the three. Powell pulls it in. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. Now, here's Mitchell. He feeds it to Gobert. Clock is at three. Utah needs to get off a shot here. O'Neal, that's a two-pointer. Second shot opportunity. Gobert with a terrific move and a bucket. Gobert has got four this quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Now, here's Doncic. He's got seven. Beyond the arc. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Doncic has got the game tied up here for the man. And you know you're special when you're drafted third and people still can't believe you slipped that far. That's how good Doncic has been in his young career. And that one's good, Mitchell. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now, here's Doncic. Ten points for him. And that one, good. Doncic has got 12 in the game. And Greg, at the time of the 2018 draft, Luka Doncic was regarded as the best international prospect ever. And that sounds right, because, you know, coming from Europe, a lot of people assume that he's got a low ceiling, but he's surpassing all those expectations. 
really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Bringing that three-point percentage up quite a bit this quarter, shooting it well. The lead's going to get a little bit bigger if they can keep this up. Now, here's Bogdanovich. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Shots good by Mitchell. And getting going here in the second quarter. His second three-pointer of the game. Dinwiddie outside. Has to finish Smith. And here's Doncic from the arc. Basket made. That gives him seven field goals in 13 tries. Three triples for him this quarter. Four overall. Kindly the pass to Mitchell. Gobert with a screen for Mitchell. Dinwiddie with the steal. Doncic finds Powell. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly logical. <laughs> How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. The length and mobility of, of Powell is, is really impressive. He's a solid big guy who I think continues just to get better at both ends. Mitchell sets the screen for Conley to the middle. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Got to be. Good play defensively. It's been all about Luka Doncic for the Dallas Mavericks. He delivered nine points from three-point range that quarter. Terrific work from distance. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great hit. We've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. And, you know, that's not a job they asked him to do very often. But in the first half, I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. On the floor right now for the Mavericks. Now there's Bertans out there with Green. Then there's Tim Hardaway Jr. Then it's Jalen Brunson, and it's Marjanovic in at the five. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. Fans, your jazz dancer. So Utah ends up going with a new group. The jazz dancer says team makes a noise for fans. Jazz trail by five. Brunson with the ball. Right side, a screen on Brunson. Stolen by Brunson. Fast break, Dallas. Green with the ball. Bertans can't get it to go. Gay against Green. Inside. Here's Pascal. Lays it up off the glass. The more he facilitates, the more effective Gay is. And it's good to see him concentrating on that part of his game. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Pass to Bertans. On the wing, Hardaway. And the three off target. And here's Gay. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jazz. It's a three-point game. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Brunson kicks to Bertans. He dishes it to Hardaway. Passes to Brunson. Five on the clock. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Brunson's got his first two points. The pass to Basker. Right side against Marjanovic. Right side, the pass to House. For the tie, that one doesn't go. Mavericks leading by three. And in this era of small ball, House has carved out an interesting role for himself. And you know what, Greg? I think he's really a wing player by position. 
but his strength, length, and hops have allowed him to play power forward at times and even center in a small ball lineup. But you know, guys, we know Hardaway can score, but when he makes these passes, he makes them a lot more dangerous. Clarkson passes to Whiteside, and Whiteside stands at home. And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, didn't he? My goodness. I can't fault the guy for adding a little flavor to things. I'm fine. Even if he'd have missed it, I don't mind him taking a chance to spruce it up a little bit. Kicks it out to Gay. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. And now just a one-point Maverick lead. Now Brunson. Pass to Marjanovic. Good work defensively by Whiteside. For Utah, they've gotten four of their first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Clarkson finds Whiteside. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly logical. <laughs> How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. 56 seconds left in the third quarter. Six to shoot. Here's Clarkson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. As he often does, Clarkson pushing the action, drawing a trip to the line. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Gobert, he's checked in for Whiteside. Bogdanovich comes in for Eric Pascal. O'Neal's checked in for Rudy Gay. And Donovan Mitchell subbed in for Daniel House. And Doncic throws it down. Boy, from the moment he entered the league, Doncic has been an immediate star, capable of big nights just about any time he's on the court. Mitchell outside. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Third quarter, guys, and this has been a neck-and-neck -neck game. Both teams getting it done defensively as evidenced by the eight lead changes thus far. And the Jazz making a change here. Conley's checked in. And how fearless is Donovan Mitchell? I mean, as a rookie in his first playoff series, he went off for 38 in a closeout game against none other than Russell Westbrook. And here's Doncic from the arc. Count it. And with that basket, he's now 9 of 15 from the floor. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Gobert with a screen for Mitchell. Nailed from three-point land. Mitchell's got six here in this quarter. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving a... Yeah, and the lead has changed. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Jazz lead by two. Live from Vivint Smart Home Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our state form. Assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed. And you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, platinum level dime drop in there, fellas. Accurate and on time. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. Bogdanovich out there with O'Neal, and it's Gobert in at the five spot. That's the group right now for Utah. The drive by Gobert. The Mavericks pull it in. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. Good on the three-point shot. Doncic has got 26 points. And he got loose from the three-point range in the first half and showing signs here that he's still got the flow in the second. To the inside, Mitchell fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash-mouth physical basketball, guys. 
And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Dallas. Trailing by two. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Misses from close range. Utah shooting 64%. Beautiful all-around play by this offense. Here's Conley. Kicks to Mitchell. Pass to Gobert. Shoots over Doncic. Gobert can't hit. Dallas has gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. And we have an intentional foul there, GA. I uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. And a deep three from Doncic. And they should probably start looking to get the ball inside more. The three pointer hasn't been there for them like it was in that first half. On the wing, Mitchell. Dinwiddie covering. Dinwiddie against Mitchell. Utah calls timeout. And they've been very loose with the ball here. They haven't been as patient, forcing things a bit, which has led to turnovers. They need to just slow down and relax. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the last break, I heard Quinn Snyder talking with his team. And he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed, guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. Dinwiddie with the steal. Out in his own on the break. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. It's a tie ball game. And this is the effort you want to see out of your guys, win or lose. Yeah, you know what? I agree. I mean, they're showing a bunch of fortitude here, keeping this game tight. Conley with the screen on Dinwiddie. Down low is Gobert. He's off on that one. And the Mavericks going the other way now. Doncic outside. Powell sets a screen for Doncic. For Mitchell, Doncic with the bucket. Doncic has got five points now this quarter. He's so clutch. When the pressure is at its highest, that's when he's at his very best. On lane to the lane. He feeds it to Bogdanovic. And so they foul intentionally. Dorian Finney Smith. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Conley. There's a minute 45 left to play in the final quarter. The Jazz again can't hit it. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Doncic will get it over. No good on that one. O'Neal with the defensive effort. Conley against Dinwiddie. Mitchell wide open. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Mitchell's got 20 points. Wow, look at the damage this young man is doing from deep. And there's another. And it's a big one. What a performance from long range. Remarkable. Doncic outside. Here's the three. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Jazz have gone just 33% for the field in the fourth quarter. So they are two of six. Conley finds Gobert. get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was going to. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Doncic passes to Dinwiddie. Back to Doncic. With the drive. It falls! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Boy, what balance from Doncic. I mean, he never seems to get rattled even when he attracts contact on the way to score. Maintains his poise in those situations extremely well for a young player. Now eight seconds separating the two blocks. Gobert with a screen on Dinwiddie. Like it's six. Here's Mitchell. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And the unpredictable nature of Mitchell is hard to game plan against, especially when he drops. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a three-point game. That last free throw was critical. 
Their only choice now is to go for the three to tie. Now, here's Doncic. To force OT. Oh, he couldn't make that shot go to force overtime. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now.
take it away. Thanks. Boy, Ali, wouldn't that be something? Here we go. So the Nuggets with the tip. Now Denver's starting five. Down low, it's Gordon and Jokic. Murray and Barton, the guards. And it's Porter in at the three. Pass to Jokic. Over Conley. He got a piece of it. In transition, here come the Jazz. Mitchell with the ball. Barton covering. And Mitchell with the slam. Mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty handed. Back to Mitchell. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. Fires for three. Gets the three ball to go. Mitchell's got five points. And Doris, you look at the shooting numbers for Conley. He can hurt you from deep and everywhere in between. Well, it's easy to, quote, get to your spot when you have so many spots on the floor. At the same time, I feel like Conley does such a great job balancing scoring and setting the table for his teammates. Utah with the ball. Following the score by Denver. Pass to Gobert. Bogdanovich with it. Defended by Gordon. Right side, Bogdanovich. Shot clock at six. Mitchell, the pass to Bogdanovich. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. No coverage that time. Well, how about the court awareness from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open man, Kev? Martin outside. It's Jokic, high post. Outside Porter. Back to Jokic. Doesn't go for him. Good D by Gobert. For Utah, they've gone three of three out of the gate. Mitchell against Barton. Mitchell, the pass to Gobert. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. I think we think of Donovan Mitchell first and foremost as a scorer, but I love seeing his passing ability come into play. Murray, no good. Just one for five. Not the start they were looking for. Obviously, there's still plenty of time to get on track. Mitchell, the pass to Gobert. Now Bogdanovich, covered by Jokic. Conley against Murray. The three is up. Porter pulls it in. That was their first miss of the game. Four for five right now. What a good start. The Jazz on offense. They're on a 10-2 run here. Now here's Mitchell. He's got five. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Martin, the pass to Jokic. And he's now one for four after that one. Just powerful move in there by Jokic, using his frame to just bust through the contact and get his shot. Murray against Conley. Oh, there's the alley! And Mitchell with the slam. Well, the coach loves this kind of ball movement. Anytime you create something inside the free throw line, you know it's a good look. Out to Gordon. On the wing, Barton. Back to Gordon. The rebound by the Jazz. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. Mitchell, good. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. 
And the call will be against Nikola Jokic. That's his first foul of the game. And great job to establish position and square up. 44 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Now Conley looking for his first basket still in this one. Fires the three. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Murray from outside. Jokic passes to Murray. It's blocked by Gobert. Nine foot nine standing reach. Rudy Gobert twice on the pipes. Out left to the wing. Gobert with a screen on Murray. And he lobs it up to the rim. Uh, just great recognition from the athletic big man. Gobert finish off the nice pass. Just a big time effort for Donovan Mitchell. Providing a lot of energy for the... just tuning in we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard but plenty of time left for a comeback and a chance to catch up on some numbers here the scoring breakdown for the Jazz well guys they are dialed in from long range already they didn't waste any time getting into a groove out there I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing plenty of their baskets have come off assists on the court for Denver Porter Jr., the small forward, with Gordon holding down the four. Murray and Barton, the guards, and it's Jokic in at the center position. And Grant, you were named co-rookie of the year alongside Jason Kidd back in 95. Something that's only happened three times in NBA history. Yeah, I'm still bitter about that. I was robbed. Jason knows that. Everyone knows that. Now, Jason and I, we are good friends. We joke about this all the time, but it was really an honor to share this award with someone of his caliber. Really one of the true greats to ever play in the NBA. But I was still robbed. <laughs> Here's Mitchell. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin of the game. Bogdanovich, no good. Barton, the pass to Porter. Can't complete the lob. Utah has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Pass to Conley. And stolen by Murray. And they're on the run. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. Hey, Brian. Well, we know this about Jamal Murray. He is not shy of letting that thing go. He said, quote, anyone that knows me knows this. I'm going to take the last shot. I've always believed that, envisioned that, dreamed that, and practiced that. And I'm going to make it. Guys, there's no denying that confidence. Well, it serves him well, right, Ali? Thanks for that. Drafted 41st overall in the 2014 NBA draft, Jokic has turned a lot of heads. The versatility he has is unreal. Now here's Jokic. He's got five. Murray up top with the drive. And it's Murray finishing it off. You see the speed there. Love watching Murray go right towards the rim and convert. And as a leader, Murray is vocal. Talks to his teammates up and down the floor, and he pushes everyone, and they tend to follow. Here's O'Neal. Pass to Mitchell. Five on the clock. Picked by Gobert. Double team on Mitchell. And Gobert with the stuff. How quickly does Rudy Gobert move off the screen? His mobility makes him a tough cover in the pick and roll. And Murray's vocal to the opposition as well. He's used to the trash talking. I mean, he loves to challenge people. I mean, does it cross the line at times? Well, it depends on who you're talking to. Now here's Murray. Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. Really difficult to stick with an athletic big man like Aaron Gordon. On rolls to the rim, good luck. Conley against Murray. This one for three. And doesn't connect. That miss makes him two for five. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused. But weird plays happen. Jokic with it. He's got five. Murray passes to Jokic. 
It's blocked by Gobert. Pass to Mitchell. Left side, Bogdanovich. Back to Mitchell. The three ball. Porter pulls it in. The Nuggets have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Murray passes to Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. The combo guard, Murray, capable of hurting you with his scoring as well as with his passing. And here's Conley. He has six. A minute four left in the first half. The shot's good. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Outside Murray. Here he goes. And it's Murray finishing it off. Oh, explosive move. Sometimes Murray doesn't get enough credit for his athleticism. On the wing, Mitchell. Bogdanovich with a screen on Barton. Mitchell, the pass to Conley. Launches it. Denver grabs the miss. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. And there's the lob. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. And the Jazz pushing it up now. And Jamal Murray picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. First, personal foul. First team foul. Substitution for your Jazz. Here's Gay. Takes the three. No luck on that one. And so it's the Utah Jazz going into the break up 12. Ali, as always, thank you. ready for the second half here a big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive and it probably has to happen quickly what a game we're seeing from donovan mitchell the numbers say it all he spent the first half playing efficient ball i think they've taken their time they've showed incredible patience it's a sign of a well-coached ball club hassan whiteside is out there with eric pascal then there's rudy gay then it's daniel house and it's clarkson in at the one that's the group for Utah right now. Whiteside can't get it to go. Denver is shooting 44%, a pretty decent clip. Pass to Najee. And we're going to have a jump ball. Oh, it's stolen by Gay. Here's House. Pass to Whiteside. Fades and shoots. He's off on that one. Now Denver takes it the other way. Cousins, the pass to Morris. There's the drive. Here's Najee. And a missed layup. Denver foul, win four. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Here's Pascal. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Clarkson. Knocks it loose. Six on the shot clock. Terrific anticipation by him, and that's why he's out on the court. Also, plays like that are crucial right now. You have to convert on every turnover you get. And Monte Morris is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Personal foul. Second team foul. Now here's Clarkson. Okay, outside.
clock at six. Oh, they get a hand on it. Right side with it. Green picks him up. And they just keep making mistakes. I mean, that's back-to-back -back turnovers, which easily could have been prevented. Gay against Cousins. Pass to Naji. Outside, Green. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Naji. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. Gay, the pass to Pascal. And it's going to be a three second call. Three seconds. Time, out time out call. Time out. The Jazz. Well, Eric Pascal has shown that he can be a force offensively off the bench. Easily took to the six man goal. Great offensive arsenal. Give the, hand. the Nuggets have gone just one of three in the second half. Morris outside. Cousins, the pass to Morris. Yes, it's good. Morris has got four points this quarter. You know what, Pascal, he's so naturally aggressive in looking for a shot. Yeah, and I think he can be a matchup issue if you guard him through the center. He can be a primary scorer, leading a second unit. It's just a great big man to have off your bench. Here's Clarkson. The Nuggets getting their last shot to go. Fires in the triple. Well, give Jordan Clarkson a ton of credit. He has worked tirelessly on this shot. And it's Jordan Clarkson with the foul. That's his first foul. He didn't have his feet planted. Here's Najee. Pascal defends. To the middle. Here's Najee. Uneasy two on the layup. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Clarkson against Morris. Pass to Whiteside. Kicks it out to Clarkson. Just five on the clock. Using his post moves to get the two points. Clarkson's got five. How about Jordan Clarkson? The ability at his position to absorb contact and finish the play. To the paint. And Pascal secures it. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. And seems really frustrated. A line change here for Utah. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Substitution for your chair. Morris against Conley. Gobert with a screen on Morris. Conley passes to Gobert. Back to Conley. Shot clock at five. Fires the three. They get it back. Goes back up. Gobert finds Conley. It's rebounded by Morris. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Here's the three. The rebound by Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got his fourth rebound in this one. Three-pointer O'Neal. And they recover it. Here's Gobert. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Give him eight. I'll tell you, with Rudy Gobert on the floor, you have got to find him and keep him off the glass because he can be a force. Here's Cousins. And so it's Utah in a good situation, up by 13 points. To... All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the court for Denver. On the perimeter, Barton and Porter Jr. Down low, it's Gordon and Jokic. And it's Murray in at the point. Now here's Conley. Outside Mitchell. From the arc. Denver grabs the miss. Pass to Porter. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. Tipped. 
And so they foul intentionally. Well, you don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. First team foul. Murray against Conley. Murray passes to Jokic. Barton outside. Murray from outside. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. Now Conley. Driving to the basket. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Jazz lead by 15. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Conley against Murray. And here's Porter outside. And again, Denver no good. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Pass to O'Neal. The three is up. That shot is off. Now Denver takes it the other way. And he's going for the lob. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Conley against Murray. Outside Conley. Mitchell, a screen on Murray. Down low. And Mitchell with the slam. Guys, how often do you see an alley designed for your guard? Donovan Mitchell defies explanation. Murray finds Barton. It's tipped. Jokic with it, and it's Gobert picking him up and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. That's tipped, and the Jazz with possession here. The Jazz have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. On the wing, Mitchell. Back to Bogdanovich. Gobert passes to Conley. No good on the triple. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Murray, shot is good. Boy, don't you love to see Aaron Gordon make these kinds of decisions. This guy is fully capable of recognizing open teammates. Now here's Conley. Two minutes remaining in the game. Right side, Bogdanovich. Pass to O'Neal. Down to five on the shot clock. Bogdanovich with a screen on Porter. For three, O'Neal. Great D that time from Porter. The Nuggets have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Inside. Here's O'Neal. He's guarded by Barton. Outside Bogdanovich. Outside Mitchell. with the dunk. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Jazz. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, B.A. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Rudy Gobert. Boy, I think he made his presence felt in the paint more than anywhere else. This guy's rebounding numbers were outstanding. He controlled the glass. Now here's Mitchell. Unable to get that one. Barton with it. He's picked up by Conley. Barton shot off the mark. And the Jazz with possession. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. Outside Conley. From deep. Utah, the rebound. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Mitchell. Shoots over Barton. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. From deep three-point range, it doesn't go for him. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but elect next time, maybe. And for mo
makes the starting lineup for the bench. Pass him back. battle tonight Steve let me ask are we in a guard centric league right now I think we are Kevin I mean obviously it was more balanced back in the day guards and bigs but with the three-point shot it has really made this a guard lead and now the opening lineup for Phoenix up it forward they'll have Bridges and Crowder the star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there and it's eight in and at the five spot trying to go for an alley-oop but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it Booker finds Crowder. It's stolen by Gobert. And the Jazz pushing it up now. Mitchell leading the charge. They get it back. They double him with Aiton. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Crowder with the steal. Booker outside. The lane and the dunk by Booker. Booker. And once Booker has some momentum, get out of his way, throwing himself towards the rim off the drop. And the 6'8 Boyan Bogdanovich consistently among the league's top three point marksmen. You're right, Kevin. Consistent is the right word. Listen to this. Since his fourth season in the NBA, he's never averaged below 38% from distance. That shot must be honored. Here's Paul. Following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. Paul passes to Bridges. Just five to shoot. Puts it up from 17. The shot will not fall. The Jazz go the other way with it. Here's Mitchell going inside. Rebounded by DeAndre. The Suns have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Takes the three. Knocks down the three ball. Superb vision and decision by Jay Crowder. Rotating the ball, executing this offensively. Flawless. Now here's Conley. Bogdanovich left side. Past O'Neal. Jacks up a three. Good on the triple. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Paul against Gobert. Ayton, a three, and Paul with the basket on the assist by Ayton. You know the pick and roll play is his forte. Chris Paul knows exactly what he's doing. Mitchell is screen on Paul. Conley against Paul. Conley, the pass to Mitchell. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. This guy just gets buckets. Donovan understands his team expects him to score inside. Two minutes remaining in the first. Paul with the ball. Now defended by Mitchell. And the dunk by Booker. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Paul against Conley. Now here's Gobert. Defense right on him. Now the pass to O'Neal. Bogdanovich with it. From past the arc. Good work defensively by Crowder. Phoenix leading by three. And out of bounds as Utah gains possession. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Kevin, I had a chance to catch up with Monty Williams. Defensively, he wants his guys to protect the rim and do everything they can to push the offense out to the perimeter. He told me, if we can do that, I feel good about our chances. Now, guys, obviously, that's a tall order, but he's trying to get his guys to get geeked for the challenge. Thank you, David. What tenacity from Mitchell on the drive. 
not letting anything trip him up. And it's Paul penetrating. He kicks to Crowder. Bridges against Conley. To the left wing. Aiton wide open. Another three for Phoenix. I love the confidence. Aiden knows he must continue to hone his jumper, especially shooting it off the catch. Now here's Conley. No points in the game yet for him. And there it is for him. And another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Aiton in the high post. Gobert on him. Stolen by O'Neal. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Here's Mitchell. Oh, the lob to Gobert. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Clinks the dunk off the rim. Wow. Now that's having a highlight reel in your mind. But in reality, it didn't work. Back to Bogdanovich. Gets it off. He knocks it down. But wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. They need to be certain. He... The previous play is under... In real time, I couldn't really see whether he got it off in time. But with the benefit of replay, it seems pretty clear that the clock expired just before the release. After the review, the challenge is successful. And they're keeping the call as is. It was close, but he had not released it before. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Suns lead by two. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. With anything, uh, what is... And with this younger team, it's got to be easier for Chris Paul to lead as that elder statesman. Yeah, at times in the past, veteran teammates didn't appreciate his constant input. Credit these younger guys, though, for soaking it in. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And taking a look at the Suns' performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? Boy, that, their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. This is exactly what you want to see if you're a coach. Your team starting fast and playing with confidence. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. Setting the floor for the Suns. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. Up it forward, they'll have Bridges and Crowder. And it's Aiton in at the five down low. Gobert down low. Aiton's there. That evens the score. Gobert's got his first points in this one. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Aiton a screen on Mitchell. Here's Booker. Pass to Aiton. Bridges outside. Booker with no one around. A three-pointer is right on target. Booker's got seven points. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Gobert with a screen for Mitchell. In the corner, O'Neal with it. Here's Paul. Passes it to Aiton. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Paul against Conley. Six on the shot clock. Outer dishes to Paul. Drives to the hoop over Conley. Rebounded by the Jazz. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Mitchell outside. And you look at the 2021 draft class, just some unbelievable talent at the top. I mean, Kay Cunningham, for me, probably is the consensus best player. But, man, you got guys like Suggs and Green and Kaminga with that rare athleticism. Yeah, how about Mobley? He really defines what a modern-day big is supposed to be. I mean, what more could you want? Conley gets to Bogdanovich. And that one falls, coming off Conley's feet. Bogdanovich has got himself on the board with three there. 
Paul passes to Booker. Paul, a screen on Mitchell. In the corner, it's Bridges. Another three for Phoenix. Bridges. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Ball against Conley. He takes it in. Mitchell sets the screen for Conley. The Jazz need to get off the shot here. And then Mitchell with the double. You've got to trust your receiver to go get that pass. Did you see Donovan Mitchell catch and finish in the same motion? When you look at Mike Conley's game, just a steady floor general and deadly accurate as a shooter. Hey, Greg, I'm not sure he gets enough credit for how he competes on the defensive side. At 6'1", he's given up size on a nightly basis, but he won't let you pick on him. He gets after you. Jazz trail by three. Outside Conley. There's the triple. Phoenix grabs the miss. Ayton's got his sixth rebound on the night. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A, a scene of confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. To the paint. Here's Ayton. And Ayton throws it down. And it's the way Aiden uses his body inside. It's what allows him to get so close to the basket. Pass to Mitchell. Crosses over. Rejected by Crowder. Jay Crowder didn't give up on the play. Tracking the ball, blocking the shot. His coach appreciates the hustle. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And going back to his numbers from just a season ago, he was knocking it down at a 77% clip. A big group substitution here for Phoenix. Cameron Johnson's checked in for Crowder. Torrey Craig comes in for Bridges. Landry Shamit's checked in for Booker. And Aaron Holliday's subbed in for Chris Paul. Kicks it out to Johnson. Back to Shamit. That one falls, coming off the Johnson feet. And the Suns lead by seven. The defense cannot afford to give him an inch that close to the basket because he will burn you every time. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. It's stolen by Johnson. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. Suns ahead. 18. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Here's Clarkson. Right side is out there with Eric Pascal. Then there's Rudy Gay. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. And it's House in at the two-guard spot. That's the group right now for Utah. Right side, a screen on Craig. Shot clock at six. A holiday. And it's Aaron Holiday with the foul. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. And here's Whiteside. He'll bring it up for the Jazz. They trail by seven. Now, here's Clarkson. Whiteside sets the pick for Clarkson. And they'll get another chance. Another shot counts. McGee with the block. Johnson down low. He's covered by Whiteside. McGee sets the pick for Holiday. Second chance effort. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. <laughs> How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. Shamit the pass to Holiday. 
Here's Johnson, stolen by Clarkson. I'll tell you what, terrific anticipation defensively. Tracked it all the way. That pass had no chance. And his competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. The shot by Holiday, no good. Jazz trail by five. And it's out of bounds. The Jazz able to retain possession here. And you love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. In the corner, it's Whiteside. Clarkson surveying the floor. Oh, Whiteside in position. And so the ball is out of bounds. Clarkson touched it last. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Payne, he's checked in for the Suns. The pass to Shamit. Down low. And it's McGee with the jam. I'll tell you, at his size, once he gets it in there, it's over. And here's Clarkson. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And there's the foul. It's on Cameron Johnson. That's his first foul. Personal foul. First team foul. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. To the inside. Pascal. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. Second team foul. Suns leading by seven. Kane with it. Pass to Shamit for the three. Here's Payne. Pocket six. Shamit the pass to Craig. Great pressure. Hard to see over Mount Whiteside. Misses in close. The drive by Clarkson. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. This is his first free throw of the game. That's the line for the pass. And both free throws good for Clarkson. And, and you know, Clarkson entering the league as a second-round pick, a, a little unsung for most of his career, but always seems to find a way to contribute. 149 left in the third quarter of the game. Payne finds McGee. Craig with it. He's covered by Gay. McGee is screen on Clarkson. And it's off the back rim. No good. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. One twenty-two left in the third quarter. Passes it to Basket. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Suns leading by five. Come to me, come to me. We've got 108 left here in the third quarter. Now Payne still looking for his first bucket in this one. Gay against Craig. Gay dishes to Whiteside. And the jam by Whiteside. All of seven feet, 265. Whiteside easily powers through contact. That's a great play. 40 seconds left in the third. To Payne. Kicks it out to Johnson. Pass to Shannon. Launches a three. Phoenix, no good that time either. Jazz trail by three. And we have an intentional Phoenix foul there, GA. Uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Rudy Gay. 
That's good for Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay has been in the league for over a decade now. A valuable wingman with incredible length. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Gobert, he's checked in for Whiteside. Bogdanovich comes in for Eric Pasco. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Daniel House. And it's Mike Conley in for Jordan Clarkson. Booker, right side, outside Crowder. His first shot coming late. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this one? At his position, traditionally, his job is to shoot the basketball. Give him credit for keeping his eyes up and just taking what the defense allows. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. And Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. Aiton is the pivot, and Crowder slides in at the four. A star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. And it's Bridges in at the small forward. I got a feeling Donovan Mitchell will be watching this highlight over and over and over. Booker looking around. Outside Crowder. Banked in off the glass. Crowder. Crowder's got his first basket of the night. Jay Crowder, not the biggest guy, but he's crafty in the painted area. Knows how to get his shot. Gobert with a screen for Mitchell. Oh, the lob to Gobert. Up high to stop the alley. -oop. Great execution. Big target. Perfect delivery. That's a tall task to defend. Rudy Gobert. Final quarter of play. About a minute and a half off the clock into it. Crowder the pass to Aiton. Conley against Paul. Gobert with the block. What timing from Rudy. He is superb at measuring when to go after blocks. Phoenix has gone 6 of 10 from three-point range, up over 50% for the ball game. Aiton kicks to Bridges. Over O'Neal. Bridges misses. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. against Paul. Out to the right wing. Now, here is O'Neal. Out of bounds. Phoenix takes possession. And it's Paul with the ball for the Suns. The lead is two. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. With three. Booker. A rebound by the Jam. Mitchell outside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on eight. Pushing the action, Donovan Mitchell has an innate ability to make people foul him. And it's tied up with that one. And he's got such a smooth stroke, and it never changes, even in this kind of a high-pressure situation. And here's Booker. For Mitchell, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's his such an active shooter. Love how Booker gets defenders to try and be physical. With him. Both free throws good from Booker. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Conley feeling it out. Gobert with a screen on Paul. Paul with the steal. Three on three, and that's an intentional foul. Great on you. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. 149 left in the fourth quarter. Bridges sets the screen for Booker. On the wing, Bridges. Good. A nice assist from Booker. 
Booker's got three assists now in this one. Sweet find there by Booker. All eyes on him with the ball. And Devin understands that. Has a nice feel for giving up the rock. Mitchell up top. Defended by Booker. Just five on the clock. Here's Mitchell. He feeds it to Gobert. And the rejection by Aiden. And, and using that wide reach to reject shots. Aiden can't afford not, to I'm throw up weak stuff around the big fella. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on Quinn Snyder's huddle. And even though they're down, he was confident. He said, look, guys, I've got all the confidence in the world in me. We've been down this road before. You know what we need to do. Kevin, let's see if they can overcome this deficit. Thank you, David. Tries the spin move. Here's Booker. Scores off the spin. Booker. Now it's a six-point Suns lead. How about that move? Is this guy special or what? Just love watching him operate inside. Conley with the three. Another miss by Utah. Stolen by Michael Conley. Over to the left wing. O'Neal passes to go there. Now, here's Mitchell, defended by Paul. Well, I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Amongst the best point guards in the history of our great game, Chris Paul has changed the culture of a few franchises. CP3 is a flat-out winner. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Yes! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Paul against Conley. Paul surveying the floor. It's Crowder on the wing. Time on the clock. Goes up to the stripe. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Near the three-point line, it's Mitchell. Can't connect. So the Suns win it. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg. As the
And those will be our starters. Some intriguing matchups on the floor tonight. Sit tight. We'll be back in just a moment. So Dallas will get the first possession. Here are the starters for Utah. The backcourt, it's Conley and Mitchell. Rudy Gobert is out there with Boyan Bogdanovich. And it's O'Neal in at the three spot. Now here's Doncic. Wide open. Count the basket. Well, we see it almost every night, Clark. Another great backcourt matchup. Well, B.A., this league is so stacked with tremendous guards. I mean, all-star caliber guards all over the league. And it really creates a situation where being able to choose guards for the all-star game is just uh, virtually impossible to not leave somebody off that's deserved. Now here's Doncic. to Dinwiddie. Back to Doncic. Four on the clock. No good on the three. On offense, here's Utah. There's Bogdanovich with the three. Gets the three to fall. Confidence is not lacking with Bogdanovich, and he shows it on these shots. Doncic against Conley. Doncic right side. And when he goes in, launches a three. Again, Doncic missing. Utah's gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Such a wide open look. This is Mitchell at his best. Such an aggressive score. Always ready to shoot as soon as he catches it. Into the lane. Here's Doncic. Had a nice finish on the layup. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Conley. Outside Bogdanovich. There's the double with Doncic. Bogdanovich passes to Gobert. Doesn't go that time. Now Dallas takes it the other way. Now, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Doncic. And Doncic with the jam. Speedy drive by Doncic. That doesn't quite go together. He usually is going at his home pace, but he does take advantage of holes when he sees them. Now here's Conley. Pass to Mitchell. To the paint. Here's Gobert. Missed inside. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lane. The Mavericks have gone three of five shooting so far. Doncic up top. Checked by Mitchell. Here's Finney Smith. Two minutes remaining. And the Jazz pushing it up now. Back to Conley. A minute 50 left in the first. Throws it up high. And it's going to be out of bounds with the Jazz retaining possession. He had the right idea, just couldn't come up with the swipe. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation as the buzzer sounds. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Doncic finds Dinwiddie. Here's Bullock. Shot clock at six. Pass to Doncic. Takes a three. Counted from distance. Doncic has got nine. Well, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. And one thing that talent evaluators wondered about with Doncic coming in, was he quick enough to play point guard? Donovan Mitchell. And in case you're wondering how that worked out, the answer is yes. And bold capital letters. Now here's Doncic. Nine points in the game. Dinwiddie passes to Powell. Over Bogdanovich. Second chance shot, and Gobert with a block. 
a rangy defender with great defensive timing. I mean, why do you think they call Gobert the Stifle Tower? Dinwiddie against Conley. Pass to Gobert. Now here's Bogdanovich. Gobert inside. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. And he'll shoot one more at the line. Shooting for Utah. A defensive stalwart. Gobert knows this team expects him to be their anchor as well as rebound the rock. Doncic with it. Here's Finney Smith. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Jazz out in front, up by one. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, your Mavericks dance team. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And take a look at the Jazz performance here, guys. What do you think? Oh, what I love was that first quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition. Yeah, I like the way they play. They're looking to get up and down the court every time. Racehorse basketball here tonight. Strap it up. Don't look down. You'll miss something. So on the floor for Utah, the backcourt, it's Conley and Mitchell. Boyan Bogdanovich out there with Royce O'Neal. And it's Gobert in at the five, roaming the paint. The three from Mitchell. Doncic grabs the miss. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Here's Bullock. And the Mavericks, another three. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. The Jazz, again, can't hit. Can't blame them. Just trying to take what the defense allows. Dinwiddie outside. Doncic on the wing. Over Mitchell. The rebound by the Jazz. Gobert's got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside Mitchell. Outside Conley. Gobert with a screen on Doncic. Conley against Doncic. The shot by Conley. No good. The Mavericks leading. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter. Here's Fenny Smith. It's Bullock on the wing. Doncic outside. And the layup is good. Doncic has got 11 points. You know, as I watch Doncic, I think it's futile to try to distract this guy. His focus and concentration and control of himself is uh, excellent. And here's Mitchell. He has six. And he's going for the oop here. And go bear with the stuff. And maybe one of the best at the alley-oop. Gobert is great at reading the D and getting eye contact with the passer and finish. Denwitty with it. Guarded now by Mitchell. From deep, here's Doncic. And it's Gobert with a rebound. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Mitchell into the lane. Pass to Bogdanovich. Marked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Hey, Brad, you played almost two decades in the league. What do you think some of the biggest highlights in your career were? You really just, you know, playing on some great teams with great players, uh, the relationships, the experiences. I didn't win an NBA championship, uh, but I am more than blessed with having an incredible 19-year career. Here's Doncic. He's got 11. Outside, Finney Smith. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Utah trailing here. On the wing, Mitchell. The three. Here's Gobert. Goes back up. And he hits it to tie the game. He's got seven. Just an aggressive move by Gobert. Protecting the possession and getting the second chance look. Down low. It down. What a 
Terrific lead pass. And, you know, we can't measure Hart. I mean, he's not as big as the other power forwards, but his jumping ability and mindset is incredible. Gobert against Powell. And Luka Doncic Luka. is going to pick up the foul. That's his, That's his first foul. First team foul. And the Jazz with possession here. Trailing by two. The three from Mitchell. Started out strong for three-point land. Hit two in the first quarter, but he's gone dry since. You know, for all his skill, and he's got plenty of it, one thing that people don't realize about Doncic is just how strong he is. And he's still uber young. With time, his frame will only get more imposing. And that's bad news for the rest of the league. Pass to Mitchell. Just five to shoot. Gobert with it. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. <laughs> That's great court awareness. Mitchell's just reliable at noticing when his guys are uncovered. Then when he goes in. And Doncic launches from deep. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Picked by Gobert. And he's going for the lob. Hammers the lob through. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Here's O'Neal. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Mavericks ahead, up by three. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Boy, really an incredible game here from Luka Doncic. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. They've got Jalen Brunson. Green out there with Davis Bertans. Then it's Tim Hardaway, and it's Marjanovic in at the five spot. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Now here's Brunson. Outside Hardaway. There's a screen. The kick out to Brunson. 4-3. He can't get that one to fall. And Utah the other way now. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. And the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. Pascal passes to Clarkson. The shot that time not on target. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Clarkson outside. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Marjanovic. Dallas has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. And for some reason, he decided to foul there. Yeah, B.A., that's an odd move. Maybe there's something else behind it. Over a minute and a half now into this third quarter action. Brunson passes to Hardaway. Outside Bertans. Brunson with it. Now Whiteside defending. Here's Marjanovic, and he banks in the layup. And now it's a six-point Maverick lead. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Despite being the consensus college player of the year back in 2018, Jalen Brunson 
wasn't drafted until the second round. No surprise he's made himself into a quality NBA player. Great IQ and hard work has paid off. Pocket four. And there's the lob. And it's slammed in by Whiteside. Excellent recognition on the pick and roll. Clarkson lays it off to his teammate for the score. Outside Brunson. Outside Bertans. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by the Jazz. And two national titles at Villanova for Jalen Brunson. Clark, why do you think he slipped to the second round? Well, it's hard to say, B.A. You know the draft is more art than science, and guys slip for whatever reason. But if you're a pro and you get into a situation where you can prove how good you are, then you'll hang around in the league. Great college players may not have star potential, but he's truly a longtime NBA pro. Two minutes remaining in the third. Here's Brunson. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. His second personal foul. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Definitely saved the layup with that foul. And he'll make him earn him from the line. And that's what you want to see. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Powell, he's checked in for Marjanovic. Finney Smith comes in for Bertans. Bullock, he's checked in for Green. And it's Dinwiddie in for Hardaway. From deep, Conley. He drops it from range. Conley's got his first three points of the game. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Pass to Powell. Back to Brunson. Dallas, no good that time either. For Utah, they've gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. From deep, Conley. Here's Bogdanovich. That gives him the lead. Bogdanovich has got five points. A nice strong finish from Bogdanovich, showing no fear at all. Mitchell against Brunson. And stolen by Gobert. There's 57 seconds left in the third. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming. That's his second personal foul. And the stifled tower makes his presence felt on the offensive end. He's really developed an array of moves on the interior. Doncic has checked in for the Mavericks. The Mavericks trailing. There's 48 seconds left in the third quarter. Conley against Doncic. It's out of bounds. Last touch by Gobert. Timeout called. The Jazz. The jazz. The and something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Typically, there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Dinwiddie outside. Left side, Penny Smith. Back to Dinwiddie. Six to shoot. Powell, the screen on Mitchell. Doncic passes to Powell. Over Mitchell. Doncic controls the rebound and the putback. He's got 18. Luka's a big 6'7", very strong, deceptively so. He's an extra forward out there rebounding the ball, even though he's got point guard skills when it's in his hand. Stolen by Dinwiddie. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. Jazz out in front, up by one. And right after this, we'll bring you the start. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. That's right. I mean, that's not his primary duty. But when the situation calls for it, he can do it and does it well. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. So the Utah Five right now. The backcourt, it's Conley and Mitchell. Boyan Bogdanovich out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's O'Neal in at the small forward position. Boy, Doncic so crafty and good at using screens and being effective in screening situations. He's a true scorer and playmaker. Three-pointer O'Neal. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. 
Conley's got three assists in the game. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting it at 52%. Doncic passes to Dinwiddie. Pass to Bullock. And here's Doncic. Just five on the clock. Trying to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. To the middle. And now the Jazz on the run in transition. Showing the willingness and the effort to get out and run. Bogdanovich knows how to create scoring opportunities. And Doncic puts up a deep three. The rebound by the Jazz. Gobert's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. About a minute and a half into the fourth now. And there's a pick. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Mitchell with the slam. A guard with major hops. Now you know Mitchell loves getting chances to finish off those alley-oops. It's Doncic with a drive. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. From deep. Dallas no good that time either. It's been a challenging quarter for them, and his offensive inconsistency is a driving factor. Now Mitchell. From outside the arc. Sinks the tray. And now a nine-point Utah lead. They are shooting the lights out and doing a good job of maintaining this lead. Not many empty trips for this group. It seems everything's falling for them this half. Dinwiddie against Conley. Pass to Gobert. Here's Mitchell. Now Gobert, guarded by Doncic. Gobert against Doncic. Outside Conley. And again, it's Utah with a three. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Utah's gone 7-14 from the perimeter in this one. A minute 42 left in the game. The three from Mitchell. He can't get it to go. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. And Doncic puts up a deep three. Dallas again missing. On offense, here's Utah. It's been 13 unanswered for him. Three-pointer O'Neal. Benny Smith pulls it in. Dallas now time running out. And Doncic puts up a deep three. From beyond the arc and then some. Doncic has got 23 points. Par for the course for Luka Doncic. Just one of those games where he's got it on cruise control. Outside Bogdanovich. Powell against Gobert. Pass to O'Neal. There's the three. The shot comes out. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Let's the three fly. Another three for Dallas. And the D's got to be better. I mean, that's a high-quality look for him. Outside Conley. Gobert with it. How covers. Gobert against Powell. Outside Mitchell. Spins. He takes it in. Oh, and Mitchell powers it home. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. Mitchell with the ball. We see the Jazz get the win here. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for...
that resilience it shows with their success on the floor. Thanks for that story. Tip-off goes to Denver. And checking out Utah's opening lineup, Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two-guard. Ogdanovich out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's O'Neal in at the threesome. And it goes down two points. Porter's got the first points on the scoreboard for the Nuggets. And the backcourt matchup tonight, Frank, definitely high-powered. At the point guard position in particular, much more scoring expected than in decades past. Yeah, you got to be a, a triple threat at every position. And, and at the point guard, it just commands so much more attention. They're the initiators of the offense. Uh, there's so many guys who are tremendous scorers that can create opportunities themselves with the ball and do it from deep range. They can play off a of pick and roll and manipulate the defenses. So it is a, it has been a golden era for point guards, and it's a new way in which they play, being able to shoot that three ball, Kevin. So it's Denver now. Here he goes. Kicks it out to Gordon. Shot clock at five. From 11 feet away. And having Gobert gives them such a daunting presence on D. He can affect every shot in his area. Here's Mitchell. Nice D from Porter. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. It's deflected. Stolen by O'Neal. A shot missing. Good defense by Jokic. Murray surveying the D. Latrey, first shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Oh, and I love that spread. That's Murray's bread and butter stretching out the defense. He was way behind the arc. And there's a swagger to Murray's play, especially in big moments. You, know, you think about his performance in the bubble when he was in Orlando just propelling Denver through those series with otherworldly plays and just making shot after shot in the biggest moments. He'll shoot you into a game. Sometimes he'll shoot you out of it, but he's going to come at you every night. For Denver, they've gone two or three here to start off the game. Puts it up from 15. Buries the jump shot. Murray's got five. And the effort offensively from Jamal pays off that time. Gobert with a screen on Barton. And the foul on Will Barton. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Shot to stop the run. And that one drops. And Bogdanovich, a talented scorer, likes to keep involved down low. Murray against Cup. It's Jokic top of the key. This is it to Gordon. And then Gordon with the dunk. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. Buries it from three-point range. It's Conley's ability to hit the long ball that makes him such an asset. Stretches the floor and creates space. Now here's Murray. He has five. Kicks it to Barton. Pass to Jokic. Six to shoot. Here's Gordon. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Jazz trail by four. Now O'Neal. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. 
to the middle. Tipped away. Mitchell. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Left side, Gordon. And it's Gordon finishing it off. A constant threat around the rim. Gordon is an agile big who just throws it down with ease. Mitchell up top. Harden defending. Mitchell outside. Wound up there for Blaktanovich. Barton finds Porter, and the foul is called. The intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. That, right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. Now here's Gordon. And despite that miss, a strong start for them offensively. Ready by Bogdanovich. Mitchell left side. No good. Shot missing. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. There's the drive. And then Mitchell with the dunk. And footwork really so important. Donovan threads the drive there with such grace. Here's Barton. Over Mitchell. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Nuggets lead by four. Fans, please welcome your different Nuggets dancer. Please and thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And the Nuggets, guys, what jumps out to you, numbers one? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. The forwards are Porter and Gordon. The guards are out there for them, Murray and Barton. And it's Jokic in at the center position. That's the group on the floor for Denver. And here's Jokic. Michael Conley getting his three to go. Jokic with his screen on Conley. Wide open look here for Murray. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Murray's got eight. You gotta be aware of Murray there. You just know he's aiming to get payback with a triple. And you talk to Murray. He said it was a lot of fun to grow up in Canada. Wanted to prove that you can play ball there and still get to where you need to go. And it doesn't even matter that he's surrounded on that possession. He's got the size to pull those boards down anyway. Porter passes to Jokic. It's stolen by Gobert. Now here's Conley, the fast break opportunity. Mitchell with it. Now guarded by Porter. Here's Bogdanovich. Again, the Jazz score. And as a prep, Murray formed a duo with Thon Maker to defeat some top American school. And Murray blew up in some of the showcases. Five-star recruit, top ten pick. Canada producing yet another exceptional talent. Here is Porter. Bogdanovich picking up that last basket. Murray dishes to Gordon. Ready by Bogdanovich. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he laid straight up and in. Man, he's a pure point guard with, with terrific vision. Conley finds open teammates at times before they realize they're open. Porter in the corner. Barton outside. Launches it. Jokic inside. Covered by Mitchell, and the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. That, right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. Here's Jokic, and he drops in the way up off the glass. And Jokic, I think he thought he was with his brothers, wrestling around in there and bullied his way to grab that rebound. Mitchell outside. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Porter against O'Neal. Utah needs to get off a shot here. Mitchell. And it's Denver with the rebound. Jokic has got rebound number five here tonight. Murray with it. Conley picks him up. Outside for Murray. Inside. Gordon the pass to Murray. 
two minutes remaining in the first half. Again, the Nuggets score. All right, Greg, you're a lefty. You're on the call tonight. Here we are courtside. Who do you think is the best left-handed player currently in the NBA? Oh, it's the beard. James Hard, Kevin, no question. But Zion's going to be carrying that torch for us lefties going forward. I have no doubt he'll make us proud. Very little resistance against that throwdown. Nope, not what they want to see, and it came this close, Greg. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. Here's Mitchell. Back to O'Neal. Fires the three. Porter pulls it in. Nuggets have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Down low. Here's Jokic. Button wide open. He fires. That's in. Coming off the assist from Jokic. Jokic just got his third assist on the night. Now here's Conley. He's got six. And stolen by Murray. Porter in the corner. Gordon with the screen for Porter to the middle. And then Gordon with the dunk. Porter Jr. moving the ball well. Nice to have a wing player help be a facilitator. 29 seconds left to play in the first half. Mitchell with it. Gobert with a screen on Barton. Oh, the lob to Gobert. He oh, slammed dunk by Gobert. Right through the contact. Gobert's added so much stress since being drafted back in 2013. It's helped all facets of his game. Murray outside. And it's blocked by Conley. And that'll do it for the first half of competitive game so far. Nuggets of Jazz. All right, thank you, David. Easy. Folks. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Without question, Jamal Murray displaying his skills today. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. So on the floor for Utah. Good pass go out there with Whiteside. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. Then there's Rudy Gay. And it's House in at the shooting guard. Here's Clarkson. Pass to Gay. Beyond the arc. And it's Denver with the rebound. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Drake? I'm not sure. In a scene of confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Now, here is Morris. With the drive to the right side. Here's Najee. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. And now a 10-point nugget lead. This is where Cousins' size helps him to have a passing window to find open teammates. Please welcome your Denver Nuggets dancer. Give him a hand, fans. Your Denver Nuggets dancer. And here's Gay. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jam. Clarkson outside. A three. The shot misses. Now Denver takes it the other way. Haskell's shot is off. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Najee passes to Cousins. To the inside. Safety move. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Total letdown by the D. Can't leave the bucket unprotected. Absolutely. And it attacks an easy two points onto the lead will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. Now, here's Clarkson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Wants to get it back to Whiteside and does. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. That's just maybe some bully ball from Whiteside. You like to see him get post position where he gets both feet into the paint and wet. Here's Morris. And there's the pass to Najee. He kicks it to Forbes. 
to the paint. Powered down after the assist. Let him into the lane. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. Well, this team did something at halftime going from a mild-mannered half-court executing team to some heroic shooting in the second half. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. And Forbes kicks to Green. Shoots the three. And again, Denver with the triple. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. Clarkson taking his time here. Down low. Right side, no good. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. That's the Nuggets ball. It's a 12-2 run here, good pace. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Morris against Clarkson. Morris passes to Naji. Feeds it to Cousins. And then Cousins with the dunk. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, some of these nights you got to enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. Now, here's Clarkson. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And the strength of Clarkson on display. Awesome job fending off the defense and not letting that deter him from scoring. Here's Morris. There's 117 left in the third. The drive by Green, and Green slams it in. And everything is dropping for them. So I think second half run well with the confidence growing that's one thing but they seem to be getting more intense and that's helping the quality of their play here now here's Clarkson over in the corner Pascal off target from three-point range well, the D really getting away with one there no one on him and that's going to be good nine out of ten times Cousins the pass to Naji. Cousins with a screen on game Here's Najee. Green against Whiteside. Rebounded by the Jazz. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's House. It's rebounded by Najee. Bunnell gets beaten by 17. Cousins dishes to Morris. And he comes up with the deuce. Morris has got his second basket of the night. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. Clarkson outside. Another miss by Utah. And so it's Denver with a 19-point advantage heading into the night. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Denver's gone along perfectly from three-point range tonight. Yeah, They've gone five for five. Jordan and now they decide to foul intentionally. That's his second personal foul. Really no idea First why you're back. fouling in a situation like Coming that. You know, board maybe board there's board. some bad blood between those two. So Utah ends up going with the new group. The guards are out there for him. Murray and Barton. Gordon and Jokic hold down the post for him. And it's Porter in at the three spot. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. And you got to love a skilled dunker like Gordon. Charging in and sailing right over the defense. Outside Conley. And there's the feed to Mitchell. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got four assists in the game. And man, does Mitchell get buckets. And from everywhere on the floor. A, a versatile offensive threat. Murray, no good. Jazz trail by 19. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Mitchell sets the screen for Conley. Bobbed up there for Mitchell. Takes the alley pass and dunks it down. And this guy is no stranger to the highlight reel. Mitchell never misses a chance to elevate. And here's Barton. 
hangs on the trifecta. And the Nuggets lead by 20. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And the shot goes in. And the defense so concerned with Mitchell in the two-man game. That opens things up for others. Nice find. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Jokic passes to Porter. And then Porter with the jam. And some creativity from Porter that time. A guy who's not afraid to show off of it. Conley for three. Sinks the triple. I'll tell you what. What a good thing that he showed up today. Because without him, this thing would already be over. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Jokic inside. Go bear on him. Jokic, no good. That's yeah, pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. Conley kicks to Bogdanovich. Go bear with a screen on Barton. For three, Mitchell. There's Gobert, and slam dunk by Gobert. And no issues at the rim for Gobert. One of the league leaders in flushes. The Frenchman loves to finish above the rim. Now here's Murray. Here's Jokic. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got four rebounds now tonight. Driving in, and the dunk by O'Neal. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit still large, but now not insurmountable. Well, the run simply has given them a chance. Great work on both ends. They've got to now ratchet up a notch. Here's Murray after the basket by Utah. Pocket six. Barton dishes to Murray. They can't stop the run with that one. So it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Utah Jam. Trailing by 13. Conley feeling it out. And stolen by Barton. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for the Nuggets. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And a great team effort tonight, helped in large part with contributions, and the nice night it ended up being for Jokic. You can't look back at too many major moments in this game and not see his imprint put all over. And they recover it. Back to Conley. Six on the shot clock. Bogdanovich with the screen. Another shot. That's in there. Conley with the assist. And how about Bogdanovich there? Always has his eye on that shot clock. Terrific at getting a quality look off in time. Now, here's Jokic. Barton outside. Back to Jokic. Three pointer. That shot off. And so it's Denver taking care of business in this one. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks. For
combination of guard talent on the floor here. here. Both these teams driven by their backcourt play. Boy, B.A., a lot of pace, a lot of skill out there in the respective backcourts. This game probably will be won or lost based on the perimeter play. So here are the Jazz starting five. The backcourt, it's Conley and Mitchell. Boyan Bogdanovich out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's O'Neal in at the three slot. And it's Mitchell, the miss. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Here's Paul. Off target from the baseline. And it's Mitchell penetrating. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Donovan Mitchell just understanding if I'm this close to the cup, I've got to score it. Pass to Aiden. Now here's Booker. Back to Aiden. And stolen by Gobert. Mitchell against Booker. Here's O'Neal from deep three-point range. And Aiden pulls it down. Here's Bridges. Uses the glass on the layup. Boy, you have to be aggressive, powering through contact. Mikael Bridges, no signs of backing away. And Mikael Bridges, man, has he grown in this league, growing more and more deadly with that shot. Yeah, I mean, he's increased the amount of threes he takes. He's gone from average shooter to a great one. A fantastic option to have out there on the wing. Five on the clock, and that's a foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul of the game. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. A little over a minute and a half into this first quarter. Conley against Paul. Crowder outside. Outside Booker. Four on the clock. Utah with the rebound. Here's O'Neal. Outside Bogdanovich. Three-pointer. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Well, Boyan Bogdanovich, a very confident basketball player. He knows very well he has the green light to take these shots. Now here's Paul. It's a three-point game. Booker for three. And stolen by Gobert. On the wing, Mitchell. Booker defending. Outside Conley. And he lobs it up. And Mitchell with the slam. Guys, how often do you see an alley-oop designed for your guard? Donovan Mitchell defies explanation. Ball passes to Booker. And Booker with the jam. Willing passers. Unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Remaining in the first two minutes. Conley against Paul. Right side Conley. Mitchell, a screen on Paul. From deep, Conley. He can't hit that time. And Phoenix the other way now. Paul with it. Guarded now by Mitchell. They double team Paul. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Stolen by Mitchell. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. And that's an intentional foul. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. 127 left to play in the first. And he lobs it up top. The Suns trailing. Now Paul. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Outside Mitchell. And the three off target. The Suns have gone two for five to start today's game. Puts one up from 19. Booker can't get it to go. And there's the foul. It's on Rudy Gobert. That's his first foul of the game. 
And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. And it's Phoenix's ball. Aiden finds Bridges. The kick out to Paul. Back to Bridges. It's Booker on the wing. Five to shoot. The rebound by the Jazz. Gobert's got four rebounds in the game. It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot has just been unreliable. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Booker against Mitchell. The rebound by Bridges. Aiden in the high post. Back to Booker. Aiden with a screen. He gets it up. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials getting together here. They may want to review this one. And indeed, they're going to look at it. The previous play is under He beat the buzzer. And there's really plenty of time remaining in this game. So you want to make sure the right call was made. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And after reviewing the play, it looks like they're overturning the call here. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one. Jazz out in front, up by three. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Jazz. They've come out in full attack mode defensively, applying pressure and stealing it away repeatedly. Yeah, and I think the other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've gotten off turnovers. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt. Bridges and Crowder holding down the forward spots. And it's Aiton in at the five. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Boy, I give Rudy Gobert a lot of credit for how he responded after the early days of COVID. This guy was made a scapegoat, and he was the first player to test positive. This guy has come back stronger from adversity. You have to love that. And Gobert wore it for that unfortunate joke with reporters. But lest we forget, he apologized and donated over half a million dollars to COVID relief. Well, incredible to take what was a tough moment in his career, have the maturity to talk to his teammates, try to heal any rip there, and it shows you what Rudy Gobert is all about. Outside for Booker. Over Mitchell. And the jumper is good at the free throw line. Booker's got six. Well, for certain guys, the mid-range is not where you want to be. But for Devin Booker, it's money. Bogdanovich against Crowder. They double him with Crowder. Pass to O'Neal. Bogdanovich with it. Outside Conley. Throws it up high. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Boy, that foul looked intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, I know. It just doesn't make sense given the situation. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Here's Crowder. Drops in the layup for two. I'll tell you this. Jay Crowder is one tough cookie. This guy won't be deterred by the defense. Outside Conley. Outside Bogdanovich. Crowder with a steal. In transition. Here come the Suns. Booker can't get it to go. Utah leading. Here's O'Neal. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Mitchell against Booker. Mitchell, the pass to Gobert. Misses from close range. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. Bridges finds Crowder. To the left side wing. Aiden with a screen. Bridges passes to Aiden. Clock at six. Ball with it. Guarded now by Mitchell. Ball can't get it to go. The Jazz shooting only 42%. To Gobert. Mitchell with the ball. 
as a Rookie of the Year Award winner yourself, Grant, what do you see as the biggest challenge facing today's rookie? I honestly think with all the information and expectations, the hardest thing for young players today is meeting those expectations because of all the great rookies who've come before and gone on and had success right away. That pressure a lot of times can be a lot for a young player entering the league. The three, Booker. The rebound by Bogdanovich. The Jazz have got two of three shots to go in the second. Pass to Conley. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Tries it from 19. They get it again. Mitchell. Bogdanovich up top. Covered by Crowder. Here's Gobert. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Paul passes to Aiden. Back to Paul. To the inside. Oh, sweet move. Aiden, no good. This has been a close game in a lot of ways. But they do have an edge on the board. Blocked! On the wing, Mitchell. Tries again. The Suns clear it. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Outside Booker. There's 21 seconds left in the first half of this one. Aiden, no good. And here are the Jazz. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. And it's Mitchell, the miss. Here's Booker. And the Suns miss again. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. It's the... And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. We've seen Donovan Mitchell really having a great game. He was getting into the lane easily that first half. It's just relentless. Now, this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. So, the Jazz Five right now. Daniel House out there with Jordan Clarkson. Then there's Hassan Whiteside. Then there's Eric Paschal. And it's Gay in at the three, the small forward. And now the Jazz on the run in transition. And it's Whiteside with a big finish. And this kind of play is only going to grow their lead, holding the other guys down on defense and converting on the turnover. Outside Payne. From deep. And he can't get that one. And Utah will come the other way. If they just continue to dominate the boards. Gay against Payne. Tries the spin move. Can't convert off the spin. The Suns trailing. Pass to Craig. Now here's Payne. He's covered by Clarkson. Jazz foul. Daniel Harris. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Oh, it's stolen by Gay. He was thinking too far ahead on the spin move, leaving the ball exposed to a ready defender. Here's House. That three's off the mark. And Phoenix shooting only 26% for this game. Not good. Here's Shamit. Pass to McGee. Back to Shamit. Let's it go from deep. Offensive board. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused, but weird plays happen. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. And here's Payne outside. The shot no good. The Jazz have gone just one of three in the second half. 
You know, ever since the Orlando bubble, Payne has been a much improved player, Doris. Well, there's no doubt Cameron Payne used the momentum gained in Orlando. That confidence has carried over, and now he's finding himself a rotation player who's making contributions. Clarkson outside. Driving in. And he gets the bucket. And the Jazz lead by eight. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Outside Payne. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive and they've been physical. First team foul. For Utah, they've gone two of five in this third quarter. Clarkson outside. Pass to Pascal. Clarkson outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Whiteside with a screen on Payne. Clarkson for three. Sends it home Jordan from three-point land. Three point field goal. Clarkson's got five points now in the quarter. Two well, pick your poison. Jordan Clarkson is proficient in the pick-and-roll game, and he's basically saying, what do you want to give me? I'm going to take advantage. Gay against Craig. The Suns need to get off a shot. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Boy, you take one look at JaVale McGee and feel like this guy was built for the game of basketball. Remember, both his parents played at a high level. His mom, in fact, won a couple titles at the collegiate level and a gold medal with the U.S. women's team. Holidays checked in for the Suns. Clarkson against Holiday. Pascal from outside. And again, it's Utah with a three. Maybe they expended too much energy in the first half. They just look tired here on the defensive end. All right, we'll keep coming out of the court. Come on and get loud for you. A line change here for Utah. For Phoenix, they've gotten off to a rough start. Now 0 for 5 in the second. And JaVale McGee standing 7 feet even, but a 7-6 wingspan door. Boy, you want to talk about, quote, a catch radius. This guy uses his length to great effect. Finishes above the rim and controls that airspace. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Mitchell, the pass to Conley. Now Bogdanovich. The kick out to Conley. Bogdanovich with a screen on Holiday from deep. Conley rebounded by Johnson. Phoenix has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. The drive by Holiday. Out to Craig. It's stolen. Here we go. One on one. On the wing, Mitchell. Here's O'Neal. Defended by Craig. Oh, there's the alley. And Mitchell with the slam. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. And stolen by Gobert. In transition, here come the Jazz. And there's the whistle. And I think that was a clear path foul there. Yep, the offense will get one shot at the line and retain possession. I think Mike Conley historically will always be part of the grit and grind mentality where he spent his career in Memphis. But this guy's skill set allows him to fit in with any organization. From downtown... And Booker pulls it down. Here's Bridges. And so it's the Utah Jazz leading by 17 at the end of the period. Ladies and gentlemen, your son, Dancer. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. And for Utah, they're shooting just under 40% from the field. Bridges and Crowder holding down the forward spots. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt. And it's Aiden in at the five. That's who's out there for Phoenix. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Gobert with the stuff. 
Well, the seven-footer Gobert, the alley-oop finish. My goodness, the stifled tower with the score. And here's Paul. Left side, Booker. Over Mitchell. Utah with the rebound. Gobert's got nine rebounds now. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Aiton against Bogdanovich. Down low. Very pretty alley-oop. And the Jazz lead by 21. Well, how about the court awareness from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open man, Kev? Mitchell with the ball. Now guarded by Booker. Pass to Gobert. Outside Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. Back to Conley. Mitchell finds Conley. There's the triple, and they'll turn it over. Couldn't get the shot off. A shot clock violation. Well, you look at all the turnovers. Boy, what a way to drive your coach crazy. Yeah, your game plan means nothing if your players can't execute. Aiton passes to Booker. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. And there's the call on Devin Booker. Devin Booker. That's his first That's foul. His first yeah, I think he's letting his emotions get the better of him on that foul. Now here's Conley. The three. Here's O'Neal. Yes, great play by Conley to set it up. O'Neal's got his first two points of the night. And they're really rolling right now. That lead keeps getting bigger and bigger. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. The offensive rebound, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Boyan Bogdanovich. That'll be a second foul of the game. Outside Booker. From outside the arc. I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Conley against Booker. Pass to Gobert. To the middle. Deflects the pass. And so the ball out of bounds. Aiton touched it last. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. But a really good read on his part, being disruptive at the defensive end right now. Just two to shoot. Fades away. A smart defender. Booker can anticipate and uses good balance movement to get in position. And it's Bridges with the jam. I love the throwback basketball. Work it down low and set up your teammate. Outside Mitchell. Two minutes remaining in the game. Pass to Conley from the arc. Knocks down the triple. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Conley passes to Gobert. O'Neal on the wing. Pass to Bogdanovich. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. Phoenix ball. The Suns have gone 2 of 5 from the field in this final quarter. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Jazz. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And while there were some guys out there that played well, what really stood out was the production for Donovan Mitchell. I think it would be impossible to overstate the influence he had on this basketball game. He was the centerpiece of what they did on the offensive end and the anchor of their defense. That's as complete a performance as we've seen. Here's Bridges. And it's Bridges with the chance. Well, 
They needed this run way earlier. At some point, it's too little, too late. Yeah, but then again, this run came against a team that may have felt it had already won, and you get the sense it let its guard down. Mitchell, the pass to Bogdanovich. Outside Mitchell. Looking to get it going. It's deflected. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Jazz. Jazz ball. Utah with the ball. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Connolly with the ball. Let's go with a three. The shot, no good. And so it's Utah easily grabbing this.